look at that. Oh, that is unbelievable. This is one of the most amazing finds you can possibly get. The animal kingdom is vast and diverse, with our expansive world providing numerous hiding spots for a variety of creatures. However, among these animals, there are some that are exceptionally odd. Here, we introduce seven such animals that are so strange, they're sure to give you chills. Number seven, thorny devil lizard. This creature is truly remarkable. The thorny devil not only has a name that suggests potential malevolence, but also has an incredible appearance. These reptiles are active during the day and feed on ants. They are covered in thorny spines and have false heads on the back of their necks to deter predators. Although one would have to be short-sighted to think that these spiky creatures are a tasty snack, they give the impression of being a painful option for any would-be predator. The thorny devil lizard is native to the dry and arid Australian desert landscape. Living in such an inhospitable environment, this creature has developed a range of adaptations to make its location more manageable and to increase its chances of survival. One of its most unique abilities is its capacity to absorb water through any part of its body. In the morning, the lizard walks through the dew-covered grass and absorbs droplets through its body's capillary action, allowing it to maximize its use and store water wherever it is available. During droughts, the thorny devil is known to bury itself in the sand to absorb any available water. These adaptations have helped it to survive in the wild for up to 20 years. Number 6 star-nosed mole. This funny little animal is famously one of the weirdest looking creatures on our planet. The star-nosed mole is virtually blind, but it has an extraordinary ability to seek and eat food in its environment. Using its unique star-shaped nose, this mole is able to sense the insects in the soil around it in such a way that it's much more efficient than if it were trying to use its mere vision. That star nose has 100,000 nerve fibers that are constantly sending information to the mole's brain. So in that funny wiggly nose, the mole has more than five times the touch sensors than we have in our hands. That means that multiple fingers of the mole's noses are able to feel out 10 or even 12 different places all at the same time and capture prey with extreme speed and accuracy because of all those extra sensors. It's one of the quickest eaters on Earth and probably one of the best adapted animals for its natural habitat. It is proper freaky looking though, but I don't think he's in the least bit interested in haunting your dreams. He's far too busy snarfing down snacks. Number five, giant isopod. If you're afraid of creepy crawl eyes, the giant isopod might give you nightmares. This massive oversized bug lives at the bottom of the ocean, but despite its creepy appearance, it's not up to any nefarious ill doings. In fact, this weird sea creature is kind of helpful. Giant isopods can grow as long as two and a half feet, which can be alarming due to their insect-like appearance. However, they are not actually insects, but they look a lot like roly-polies, which are called wood lice in the UK. These bottom feeders have a penchant for the grossest of sunken sea things, and their unusual and frankly revolting eating habits are actually extremely useful in the wider ecosystem of the undersea world. Despite its insect-like appearance, the giant isopod is a crustacean that lives in the deepest parts of the sea, eating all the carcasses of animals that sink to number four, eye-eye. Native to the rainforests of Madagascar, the eye-eye is a species of lemur, which has to be one of the weirdest looking of all the primates on the planet. The nocturnal eye eye has such a surprising look that when people first discovered it in the mid-19th century, they believed it to be a kind of massive squirrel. But then again, people were apparently constantly getting things rather upside down during that period of time. So it's no wonder that they later realized that the eye eye is in fact a species all of its own closely related to the lemur, but still a bit different. The eye eye's unfortunate appearance has led to its almost extinction. These animals are subject to some rather unlucky superstitious beliefs, and the local people on the island of Madagascar believe that to even set eyes upon the eye eye will cast bad fortune on the unlucky viewer. But it seems that the solution to this problem is much worse for the eye eye than for the human with the eyeballs. They basically just kill them at first sight. So as to attempt to dispel any troublesome bad luck, not so much for the dead eye eye, I should imagine. As a result, nowadays, 
These strange animals are one of the most endangered animals in all of Madagascar. Number 3. Pangolin Although these bizarre creatures have more than a whiff of reptile about them, they're actually mammals. So, there, but even though they are mammals, it's easy to see how they might be confused with reptiles. Pangolins are covered in scales. They use this super scaly body to protect themselves from would-be predators by curling into a tight ball, and their sharp and pointy scales are usually enough to send the danger packing. These cookie-looking creatures are often called scaly anteaters, and it doesn't take much to figure that one out. That's right, they eat ants. Oh, and termites and larvae as well, and they do this with an extremely long and very sticky tongue. In fact, the pangolin's tongue can grow to lengths that exceed their entire whole body, but life as a pangolin isn't all tonguing and snaffling ants. These are some of the world's most trafficked animals, and they've suffered for many years as a result. Pangolins are in high demand with some countries, especially in Vietnam and China, where their meat is considered a delicacy and their scales are used in folk medicines. So it kind of sucks to be a pangolin. Fortunately though, there are now more laws all over the world being put into place in order to try and protect the unique species. Number 2. Snub-nosed Monkeys Well, how is all this weird animal stuff working out for you? Are these actually going to induce nightmares, or should we just all stop being so judgy? This guy, for example, is that little blue face going to haunt your dreams? Like really? Snub-nosed monkeys do indeed have snub noses, that's a given. They also have a kind of golden brown fur, a small blue hued face, and a tail as long as their body. So far, so regular. They're native to the western central parts of China, where they live in the high mountainous provinces, especially high up in very special trees. They hang out at higher altitudes during the heat of the summer, and then take to lower ground during the winter months. Snub-nosed monkeys live in large groups during the easier summertime but will then separate into much smaller groups when the weather gets colder. They do tend to be divided further into family units, with one dominant male and about four females with their offspring. So maybe the idea of polygamy is nightmarish to you, but it's what makes these monkeys give you the chills. Well, it must be. Truly chilling indeed. Number 1. Magnificent Frigate Bird This is actually this bird's full name, the Magnificent Frigate Bird so it's probably going around getting a proper big head about all of that. Well, actually, it's getting a big fat neck about it. Yes, the male magnificent frigate bird gets a puffed up and bright red throat pouch when it's out there displaying just how magnificent and manly it is. That thing gets absolutely enormous, and then the bird will also wiggle about and show off their wings and whatnot. All this while the females are flying overhead, taking stock of the males and judging the size and bulginess of their throat pouches. Eventually, the females will select the male that they deem most magnificent, and then the pair will go off and get it on. Ah, nature. It's all about bulges and wiggling about now, isn't it? As well as their obvious physical attributes, these birds are also known to be pirates. And by that, what I mean is that they chase down other birds and force them to drop their food, or even puke it back up, so that the frigate bird can steal it. They're such charmers now, aren't they? So, did these creatures send shivers down your spine? Are you peeking out from behind your sofa because of an unusual mole? Which of these animals creeped you out the most? Share your thoughts and fantastic ideas in the comments below. Don't forget to explore the other interesting content appearing on the screen, and I'll catch you in the next one.